Okay. So today is August 28th. This is week one of our American Smooth Tango Silver Level, talking about um, elements instead of so we're EPL again. This is my friend Susan. My name is Jim with a Y. And so what we're going to do is we we did our basics. We went over the basic step and we talked a little bit about a higher or a more of a competitive look to it. And so what we're thinking about doing is taking the step and rotating it slightly where my right side is leading and the lady's also turning right. I'm sorry, she's turning left, but her right side is forward. Okay. So we're going to do is we talked a little bit about how the foot is set up and how we're going to use the inside and outside inside and outside edges of the foot which allows us to create a curving action when we do our basic step so we have slow slow quick quick slow okay and the reason why uh, when we're using those feet the way that it does it actually creates that leftward curve which is very characteristic of the tango. The next one we, we did was the open left. So we had two options for that. We can end it in close position or we can end it in outside partner. The majority of the time you're gonna stay in the outside partner, but if you got skills, you can close it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start here. And we have quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, outside partner. And then we're going to do uh, close, uh, ending in close position. So we have quick, quick, slow. Notice we're an outside partner. Quick, quick. Now we're in close position. So I really am keeping my body uh, uh, more connected to my partner. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you real quick. Don't move. Stay right there. So for the leader's part on that, we have quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And then for the follower on that, we have, there we go. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. All right, and then we did the open right turn. You getting on that video? Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay. So we were going to go from the left, the turning left, to the turning right, and we talked about sending our body weight over to the next foot. And how we did it, we remember, is because we're on that that uh, that right side lean, we're actually able to just get over onto that foot, which is nice and easy. Now my right foot is free, the lady's left foot is free, and we're going to go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. We talked about the importance of each partner really sending their center on that side step. If you don't do that, we're not going to get enough rotation. And it's not just the leader who has to do it, but the follower does it as well. Okay, so we're changing the weight here. So as I step forward, we talked about sending our center over. And then we're moving. And then over which allows the finishing part of the step so susan did that last part for me i didn't it may have looked like i moved her but she did all the work which is awesome okay yeah. so now we have we have that part here so we have slow this is the leaders on that so we have quick quick slow quick quick slow right foot still free on this and then we're going to talk next week about how to fix that or go for another step. So here, changing the weight so that the weight is on the right, left foot is free. And we have, I'm sure I got this right, there we go. So we have quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And that's the followers part on that. All right, so next week we're going to talk about chassés, lock steps. Hi. Yeah. So. Cool. Thank you very much.